looking at this case um here's one it says alpha minus theta square this can be represented as alpha minus theta times alpha minus theta well what do we have for this it's going to give us alpha square minus 2 alpha beta plus beta square that's what we're going to have we can rearrange this to suit ourselves because if we rearrange this we're looking at alpha square plus beta square minus 2 alpha beta but this part is the sum of squares and we did it in a previous video where the sum of squares is actually equal to so let me so I'm going to represent this idea you now the sum of squares will equal to alpha plus beta square and then it has a minus 2 alpha beta to it this is the sum of squares all of this all of this is simply the sum of squares this is just the sum of squares so there was so, so if you look this is this is there logging behind so we're just going to have to put that which was from the original statement so if you finalize this you're really looking at this alpha beta all square minus 4 alpha beta so we have sums and products no problem the sum is 2 right so 2 square minus 4 times the product and the product is a half all right so this is 4 over 1 you could see where we have some cancelling going on 2 into itself 1 2 into this 2 so the bottom line is we have 4 minus 2 which is equal to 2 all right so alpha minus beta r square will give us a value of 2 that's what we're saying alpha minus beta there's no square on this one well we would have to manipulate this right we have to manipulate this where we're saying okay let us why not just square this we will square this if you check the video that we did previously we'll square this but when we square it it's not going to provide us with the answer right away but squaring um this because this is not like this so if you square this and then take the square root then basically you didn't change it because the square root cancel the square leaving that but what we're going to do is to keep the square root and manipulate this part so if i manipulate this part underneath here then basically i will do what we just did just now a minus b all square and if you remember this is going to land us in the end just like so this part under here is going to give us a plus b square minus 4ab we just did that so if you just go back a little bit you'll see how we work out this part all right so here's that that's what we end up with so in the same case we're now ending up with substituting these values it's going to be 2 square minus 4 times a half and then the square root is there so we have a 4 minus 2 which is equal to the root of 2 so for this one we have the root of 2 for a minus b and that's what we'll end up with for a solution all right all right i hope those were helpful and i hope you understood that the bottom line is that whenever you get these problems where we have the roots all we have to do is to take our time find the sum first find the product and then we try to express the ideas that we're given in alpha and beta i try to express them as sums and products and then we do a simple substitution after that thank you for watching subscribe